Hello, and welcome back to the next guitar making episode. So, in this series, we're going to be making an actual, like, legit guitar. So, if you didn't know, we're specifically um, making a Fender Coronado 2. But, I mean, if you really are building a guitar, starting out, I would, I would just, you know, recommend, like, a Stratocaster or something like that. But, if you haven't episode, um, watched episode 1 already of the series... It should pop up in the corner of your screen. If not, there's a playlist titled The Guitar Series, I think. I don't know what it's labeled exactly, but you get the point. If you haven't watched episode one already, please go and watch that. Um, but I don't really have much else to say, so let's just jump into it. All you have to do for step five is get a sharpie outline the guitar like so and then cut it out so after you've cut it out all you need to do is tape it on the body and then you're ready for step six so here as you can see my dad is pouring some denatured alcohol into this little cup i'm not sure what to call the cup but it is a cup of some sort and all you have to do is pour a little bit in into relation of how much dye you're going to be using. Put on some basic plastic gloves. So here as you can see, my dad is mixing in the dye for the back of the guitar. Um, but you want to pour in the dye in relation to how much denatured alcohol you poured in. So, if you want a lot of color, like in a lot of saturation, you're going to put in a lot of dye. If you don't want much if you don't want much color and you just want it to be just like a very light coating, you're going to have more denatured alcohol than you do dye. So, with step 9, we actually start dyeing. So as you can see here, my dad is just cutting up an old t-shirt and then balling it up. So then you, all you have to do is dip it in dye and move the cloth in a circular motion to just spread the dye on. And um, a fair warning, to get it like this, you have to kind of like start in the middle and work to the edges and make sure you don't saturate the rag too much. So if you like soak the rag then it's not going to work out too well because when the rag is soaked too much, there's too many drips and everything, and sometimes that can get under the tape we put on the binding in the first episode. And sometimes when you get dye on the bindings, it is a pain to get off because it drips under there, and then you have to rub it with steel wool. So I think in the next episode, we're going to show you rubbing off some of the dye that got in there, but that's not until the next episode. <laughs> So, step 10 is essentially just sanding. So, after you finish the dyeing of the guitar, you need to get all of the wood filler and other stuff that got on the guitar, maybe like glue from making the guitar, like building the body. But you need to get all of that stuff out before you can continue. So, after a little bit of sanding, it will start to turn out like this. So as you can see, we've started to sand off everything but in the deep grain. And what I mean by deep grain is the stuff that would take like a lot, a lot of sanding to take out. So you want to take everything out but like the deep, deep stripes. But as you, as you can see, why we're doing this is to get out all of the wood filler and glue left over from actually making the guitar. So, as you can see here, my dad is raising the grain on the guitar with some of the denatured alcohol you saw earlier. So, after you put that on, all you have to do is just sand it off like we did before. You should also sand the sides from what we did before, and you can also get in those crevices with a piece of sandpaper 
wrapped around a round object, it doesn't matter what. So here as you can see, my dad is mixing the grain filler. So this will help fill in all of those little teeny tiny pores in the wood that the clear coat could seep into. So here as you can see, my dad is adding some of the dye because I was afraid I was going to get the dye everywhere. But with this kind of wood filler, you can actually put the dye in to make it the color of the guitar. So all you have to do with it after you uh, mix it is get a rag and then just dip it in the wood filler. And then just start applying it. So here we decided it was just a little bit too thick. So we went out to the kitchen and we thinned it with some water. So here as you can see, my dad has thinned it out with water. And he's doing this because I'm filming. And as you can see, he had to spread out the really thick wood filler because we don't you, you can't have a big blob like that it has to seep into the pores again so the clear coat can go in so here as you can see my dad is just going over it with water to try to dilute it just a little bit more and spread it out so with this you want to make sure you don't have too much water or too much filler because if you have too much water, it'll be too thin and it won't work at all. But if you have too much filler, it'll be chalky and impossible to sand off. So this here is just after we sanded it down really well. We dyed it again and then added some shellac. So here, as you can see, the front has been dyed for the first time. We didn't sand it down or anything, but essentially the front, we just did the same process as we did the back. So unfortunately, that there concludes the video. So this video has been a work in progress. I've been kind of like putting off editing this thing for, you know, three weeks, maybe. <laughs> From like, we started it right after the uh, first episode. And now it's it's been a long time because I have been putting off editing it for some reason. <laughs> but, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm, I've just got done with my morning session of swim practice, so my hair's a mess, but who cares. So, anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. And the next episode should be out this weekend, maybe? Not sure, but bye!